Hi everyone, Roger here from Massacar Experts YouTube channel. Today I want to give you the seven steps to prevent rodent damage. Ben begins. BMWs versus rodents, I hate to say, rodents often win. Rodents of unusual size, I don't think they exist. What about the RUSs? Rodents of unusual size, I don't think they exist. <laughs> When I thought of making this video, I thought of Princess Bride right away because that was one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid with the rodents of unusual size. So I thought I would share that just for everyone to get a laugh. I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with this video. It is a very serious topic though because rodents cause a lot of damage to cars. I've seen it over the many years that I've worked for BMW and in the automotive field. I've seen cars be completely totaled because of rodent damage. Mice, rodents, rats, they are destructive. Why do mice enjoy eating wiring harnesses? Does that even make sense? Let me tell you why. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, tell your friends. This is a great video to help prevent damage to their vehicles. I'm gonna show you how you can prevent damage from these pests. Zion wanted to say hi to everyone. I have some interesting pictures and clips of some rodent nests that I found uh, working in the automotive field and I'm going to share those with you. I also want to share with you some tips on if this does happen to you and your wiring is damaged on ways to prevent it in the future and ways to even get it covered by your insurance company. Tip number one and the most important tip is to set traps. Let me show you what I have going on. Let me show you where you should put them. I know I've mentioned it before but this is the best mouse trap out there. This is a bucket trap. You order it Three in a package, comes with a lid. You do need a Home Depot bucket as well. This is my bucket trap that I have set up in my garage. And this works for you continuously without having to reset it. It comes with a ramp and I have it right up against the side here. So this is a nice little walkway. I have it baited with a little bit of peanut butter. We're gonna dig through this and I'm gonna show you what I use on the bottom. And you know, this is a kill trap. The best thing you can do to get rid of mice is really have a kill trap. Catch and release. They're only gonna come back. All right, so we're gonna go fishing in here. So we'll take the ladder down for now and I'm gonna pop the top off. And what I use is something I have on hand, it's used motor oil. And yes, I can still recycle this used motor oil, no problem. All right, everyone, let's go fishing and see how we did with this bucket trap. And I feel something in here, so I'm gonna just take them out one at a time. Here's number one. So we got a nice, delicious mouse right there. Found number two. We'll let those drain into my oil catch bucket. Let's see what else we have. And here's number three. And here's number four. Come on out. So not bad, we have four rodents caught in my trap. So you can see how great this is working. That's four rodents in my bucket trap and that's four rodents that's not going to be eating my Z3 wiring or making a nest inside the car. Now you don't have to use motor oil. You can actually use just canola oil or vegetable oil and olive oil. Any kind of oil is going to trap the smells created and kind of preserve the mice. And you know what? If you catch them fresh enough, you can always cook them up. I was just thinking, if you use canola oil, you could have a quick snack. What do you think, Zion? Does that sound delicious? A little bit of fried mouse? No, it just needs saffron. A little saffron would make this. Sorry, folks. This isn't a survivalist show. Not going to happen. I know my bucket trap is working, but I also have snap traps. And that's how I can tell if my bucket trap is working so well. Science, stay. You're right next to a snap trap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, come on. And that's why you don't have your dog in the garage when you got traps out. Come on, Z, you don't need to lose a toe. 
Well, that's definitely something to watch out for when you have pets. You might wonder why I have this trap by the wheel. Well, this is one of the ways rodents are going to use to get into your car. So to put a snap trap next to a wheel is a very good thing to do. You could put it in the front, the back, or if you have room in the wheel well, you can put it on top of the tire because that's where they're going to get to. And then it's a great way to stop them from getting into your engine compartment and into your vehicle. Okay, crisis averted. Zion did not lose a toe, but I don't usually keep a snap trap by the wheel because the bucket trap works so well, but I use the snap trap to determine how well the bucket trap is working and I've had no rodents in my snap traps since I've purchased a bucket trap. Let's put this back to work. It's as simple as setting up your bucket, putting your top on, take your ramp, and I just have it along the side here. The rodent's gonna walk right up, walk across here, solid. They walk to the end where I have a little bit of peanut butter bait. You can see that right there. And bloop, in they go. Yummy. Benefit of using oil is that there's no smell, preserves them, and it doesn't freeze when your garage goes below freezing. My garage is not heated, so if I just had water as a drown trap, it wouldn't work very good. They'd just be running around and ice skating. So traps are a must. Catch them alive traps, really no good in my opinion, because when you release them, they're just gonna find a way back into your car. Definitely use them to prevent thousands of dollars worth of damage. Now you might ask why I don't put poison around. Well, I actually don't like to use poison because my German Shepherd, Zion, I don't want him to get into that. If you have a child, child could get into poison. And you know what, strangely enough, these critters will actually collect the poison pellets and store them in a pile somewhere where it's great. Then you have a dead rodent in your wall full of poison chemicals. It just doesn't sound very, very promising. I would rather snap trap them, catch them in the glue trap or the bucket trap is the premium way to go. Hey, you might ask yourself, why do rodents eat my wiring harness? I'm going to go over why they do that, but I'm also gonna show you some common household items that you have on hand, most likely have on hand, that will keep these pests away from eating your wiring harness. Number two on the list is smell and taste deterrent. No, I did not urinate in this. All right, everybody, this is not what you think. This is pine salt. So pine salt, tastes terrible to rodents. It smells good to us humans, but smells bad to them, doesn't taste so good. So just put it into a spray bottle and we can apply this in the engine compartment and on our wiring harness on closed sealed connectors and not cause damage to the car and also keep the rodents out. And you can apply this, at, may, maybe apply it once a month. Now, if you don't like pine salt, you can actually use peppermint extract, mix that with some water really good, and then you can spray that in your engine compartment and that will also keep rodents away. Now, while the bucket trap is great to have to help reduce the amount of rodent possibility from happening in your garage or around your house, using the pine sole as a detergent and a good way to clean everything. So I have some rodent debris in here. This was not from my house. This, is, this rodent mess came with the car when I purchased it. So I'm just gonna spray some pine sole there. And I don't want them chewing anything over here, so I can actually just spray things down. Now, I wouldn't spray the front of your engine down here on your belts. This is soap. You can cause your belts to, to slip. So, like under your intake manifold, that is a perfect spot where rodents like to hide. So, I would go ahead and spray under there. You know where else where they like to hide? This is crazy, and I'll show you a picture. They like to hang out right around the cover for your oil cap. You know how many cars come in, and I'll show you the pictures, come in with just a nest or a mess of feces and piss all around the oil cap. So definitely want to spray that just to have some scent there to keep those pesky rodents away. All right, everyone, watch closely. You can see there's live mice living inside of this car. There he is, so adorable. This rodent caused a lot of damage. Oh, it smells so lemony fresh. Now, pine salt and peppermint are great. They're definitely going to help. You can purchase some harsher product off of Amazon that is like a, like hot sauce and is very peppery. And you can spray that onto your engine and onto your wiring as well. And that will also definitely deter rodents from eating your wiring harness because once they get a taste, they won't like it very much. 
I'll put a link in the corner for that product if you're interested in the, in the easy spray. There's other stuff you can do, and we're gonna go over that as well. You might ask yourself, why do rodents chew wires? Well, some wire installation is made of soy, peanut oil, plant-based material, and that makes it very delicious to rodents. The wiring insulation can even give off a faint smell of vanilla when it's warm, which sounds absolutely yummy to mice. Oh, vanilla E, so delicious. Now rodents will eat your wire just to sharpen their teeth, but they will also use it as a food source, especially when it's a nice dark area with your hood down and they can get nice and cozy under that engine cover and make a nice warm nest and have a soy snack of your wiring harness seat sheathing. It sounds absolutely delicious, don't you think? If you've made it this far in the video, I'm impressed and I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I still have a few great tips to help prevent rodent damage and if you are affected by rodent damage to get the damage covered. So step three is to park your vehicle in a sealed garage. Unfortunately, most garages are not sealed 100%. You can see down here in this corner, there's a little gap of light coming through and rodents could definitely come in. Actually, you know what? Looking around my garage, this might be the only way they're coming in. So I think I'm gonna fix that gap on the bottom and hopefully keep them out of the garage permanently. Sealing all of the access holes mice can use to get in is another great way to keep them from damaging your vehicle if you can park it in your garage. All right, a couple of quick stories. I had a customer come in and they said that they smelled barbecue in their car. It was an N63, so you know the cats and exhaust is actually in the center of the engine and the intakes are on the outer sides. When, you know, most conventional vehicles, you have the cats on the outer and your intakes on top. Well, a rodent had gotten underneath and it actually smelled quite delicious. The cats were so hot, it was cooking the rodent. It must have been relatively fresh and it really did smell like barbecue. So I was able to remove that barbecued mouse and flush it out and get rid of the smell. And that brings me to step four, and that's to remove any food that you might have in your garage. And such as a bag of dog food. How many people store dog food in their garage? and they might have it just in a container or just in the bag and a rodent will chew the side and they will actually store food in your engine compartment and I've even had it, it's absolutely disgusting what was burning. I had a rodent store dog food into a customer's exhaust. The exhaust was full, completely stuffed with dog food and that was the complaint. The car came in with a bad smell from the exhaust. We had to remove the exhaust, dump out the dog food, and it was literally like a bag of dog food stuffed up into the exhaust. When we moved into this house, I actually did have rodents that were living inside of the house, and I found that they were coming in under the door in the basement, so I sealed that up and actually ended up trapping like eight rodents inside the house and the cats caught some and I caught some. It was quite disgusting. Uh, but now I keep the dog food inside of the house and I don't have a rodent problem thankfully inside of the house. And once I fix that little gap in the garage door, maybe I can keep them out of the garage too. But it's so hard to keep mice out of an area. They only need the smallest opening to get in and cause some damage. Now on to tip number six. Now if you can keep leaves and grass away from your house, this is my compost pile which is out in my garden area. It is away from the house, but anything that is close to the house, if you leave a pile of leaves for rodents, they will actually make a nest. Now this is a picture under an X1 airbox that came in with a transmission problem. And under the airbox, I found this wiring that was chewed. Leave your hood up at night if you can. If your hood is up, and there's activity in the area, rodents are less likely to make a nest on top of your engine and hang out and chew your wiring. It's also a good idea to start your car now and then. The vibration will scare them away if the vehicle is just sitting in your garage. Rodent wiring damage affects all makes and models, not only BMWs. This is a wiring harness for B58 because my friend's car, they ate the harness for the injector. Now Honda, also has rodent problems. Like I said, every other make and model also has this problem. They make a special Honda tape. Now this tape is not cheap. I was able to get it because I know somebody at Honda, so I was actually able to get it at cost. Cost for me was $46.02. Now if you order this online, you can get it on hondaparts.com. 
Um, it's about 50 bucks. However, it is hazardous material, so a little wacky with a hazardous material shipping fee. I think it comes out to about 120 bucks. If you buy this from a Honda store, it might be a little bit cheaper. I think the retail price, the list price, at least from the Honda de dealer near me, was $71. $120, let's just say it does cost you that. This Honda tape will definitely stop the rodents and actually has, if you see, it actually has a little rodent symbol on it, will stop rodents from eating your new wiring harness. So what I'm gonna be doing with this harness is I'm going to wrap all of the wiring area, all the exposed wiring, this is where they like to chew, with this Honda tape and the rodent problem will be resolved. Um, I'm also gonna be installing a rodent deterrent device and that's gonna be in an upcoming video. So let's just say something happened and the rodents got you. Well, if you've seen a lot of different vehicles come in with rodent damage, and if you have comprehensive insurance, and this is homeowner's insurance, they will often cover the damage minus your deductible. So rodent damage is covered by your homeowner's insurance with comprehensive insurance. So you could call your homeowner's insurance and they will actually make a claim for you. They'll send an adjuster out. Repairs will be covered under your homeowner's insurance. However, if the damage is bad enough, I've had many of these insurance companies actually total out a car. Now you might ask, can you just fix rodent damage? Absolutely. If it's not too severe, you can fix a certain amount of wiring in a certain area. But if it's all throughout the car and they ate your carpet underneath and they pissed and shit on everything, can I say that on YouTube? It's just, it's gonna be body harness, it's gonna be full carpet replacement. That can get very expensive fast. I know on a BMW, it might be twenty dollars to $30,000 worth of damage. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Your best bet really is to use these bucket traps. These bucket traps are really the best way to go to keep rodents from damaging your vehicle. And if you add in a little bit of protection in the engine bay with some chemical sprays, sealing off your garage, and following the seven tips, you should be good and finally get rid of your rodent problem.